Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I will share my exam day experience, AMC MCQ exam day experience. What you can expect, what documents you need to carry on the exam day and how is it like Pearson View Center. When I had my exam, I was searching for all these videos and all these information but uh, nothing was there. So at that time, I decided that I will make a video on this topic. So without a further ado, let's get started. So my exam center was in Delhi, uh, Barakhamba Road, Asoka State Building, I think. Uh, I don't remember the name, but definitely there was Asoka something. So I went there a day before, stayed with my friend. And the night before the exam, I wasn't able to sleep because I was very anxious and stressed out. Like, what is going to happen tomorrow? So anyhow, I just lie down on the bed and waited uh, like uh, for the morning. So I woke up and then took bath and I took an Uber to my exam center. I went there an hour early. So I just waited for my turn because uh, they will allow you to enter the exam building 30 minutes before only. So I just uh, waited nearby bus stand. I sat there and observed the DTC buses. After that, the guard called me like, now you can go inside. So after that, I went to the second floor. Uh, second or third, I don't even remember right now where it was located. Pearson View Center. So uh, on the door, there was a queue. Only two to three person were ahead of me at the time. So I waited in the queue for my turn. So uh, at that time, uh, you don't need anything. Like you don't have to print out your like uh, placement letter, which AMC sent you through the mail. You just need to carry your documents like passport, two documents. One document is with the photo and signature. That is your passport. Another one is any government issue ID, like I took my driver license and pen card, which is income tax thing in India. Any government ID will do. When you enter the Pearson View Center, there is going to be a one person who is going to greet you and ask about your, your all your documents. So you will show him or her all the documents like passport and uh, other ID. So two ID you need, one ID with the photo and the signature and your name and other ID is with signature and your name only. So that, that will do. So I carried, as I told you, passport, driving license and uh, pen card and I had my credit card also. So, but there, there were no signature on my credit card. There is no signature on my credit card. After that, uh, the person will take your photo and biometrics. They will take the palm uh, veins photo. I don't know how it works, but biometrics they will take and they will uh, allot you your locker. They will say you like locker number 10 is yours. So you can keep all your belongings in there, except your passport. So after doing so, they will give you the pamphlet about the rules. I just went through them once because I knew all the things before going to the exam. I just read the Pearson View Center guidelines. So after that, uh, your name will be called like now you can go further inside into the center. So once more, they will check your documents inside where the, all the computers were there. So they checked my passport and asked me to, to look into the camera and uh, they asked me to uh, put out my pockets like uh, to the opposite side so if you have any pockets they will check your pockets also and after that they will give you a page a4 size page and marker where you can write all your doubts any statistical questions you need to write so that's that so after that i went in there they told me that uh, uh, computer number three is yours so i went there and uh, one person helped me there to log in uh, the pearson view guy only so he helped me to log in the details and after that i started my exam <laughs> so the first question i got was very tricky and uh, difficult and very long paragraph thing so i was very confused and it stressed me out like what is going to happen into the next phase like uh, other 149 questions so anyhow i just keep going and uh, one thing is there they will provide you the uh, noise cancellation headphones in there uh, one of girl was like uh, reading the questions aloud and it was disturbing me i tried to put in uh, headphones and still i was listening to my own voice so it was also distracting to me like when I put in the noise cancellation headphones, I am listening to myself again. So I just remove them and try to focus on the exam. So guys, please don't do it. Uh, I know like you can whisper the questions. Uh, everybody uh, do uh, whisper thing like when you read the questions, but don't read them very loud. So uh, it won't affect the other guys or girls who is there. So uh, because it, this exam is really expensive and you need to think about other people also like those who are sitting there and prepared for the exam. So the guys. It is a humble request. You can whisper the questions, but don't read them aloud because it was very distracting for me. I, like, I think two, three questions, I need to focus my brain. And after that, uh, the flow was there and uh, rhythm was there because I practiced a lot and I sold a lot of mock tests. So in the middle, I got some recalls and it made me more calm and more focused while solving other questions. 
and in the ending i had a lot of time left so i intentionally started solving the questions a bit slow but still i managed to solve all the questions 40 minutes earlier uh, before the time limit like exam time limit and i was like uh, i had my doubt like i am going to fail or pass the exam because uh, it took me very few like uh, i had a lot of time in the ending but i think like i practiced a lot of mock test and uh, time management thing that's why i was able to solve the exam very earlier so i came out of the exam hall and texted in our group uh, we have a, we had our study group like one girl uh, will be having the exam on the next day like i had my exam on 9th of may so she had her exam on the 10th of may so that is that uh, i had my doubts like uh, what if i will fail the exam because uh, amc is uh, kind of uh, very tricky exam and uh, we don't know we will pass or fail the exam even after like coming out of the exam hall because no one is there to confirm your answers like you choose the correct answers or wrong answers because in neat pg in indian exams there are a lot of tutors who can provide you the exact uh, answers like you did it right or wrong while you are solving the amc mcqs there is no one to tell you like this is correct uh, this is right or wrong because ethics questions are really tricky questions and uh, i got a lot of them so that is that i was traveling back my home again and i was thinking about the exams what is going to happen and at that time i had a lot of doubts like maybe i will fail the exam but uh, i gathered myself and came back home and uh, started getting the recalls in the groups some people were texting there and got the answers some answers were correct some answers were wrong but i thought like i put in the work let's see what will happen because i don't know no one knows until you get your results so uh, after few weeks i thought like maybe i will pass the exam some positive thinking and uh, i started preparing for the english exam pt exam i just prepared for it one week and gave it and i passed it maybe i will talk in some other video about the english exam so uh, in the ending phase like uh, one week or two week before the results i knew like that i am going to pass the exam i don't know i had that feeling like yeah i will pass the exam so one day before the exam uh, same thing happened i was very anxious and stressed out ki kya hoga yaar gal what will happen tomorrow so uh, i woke up at 3:30 am one hour before the, the results because at 4:30 am indian time uh, results will be announced so i just woke up and waited for my results at 4:29 i got the mail from the amc that uh, like uh, your results are ready you can check out them so i logged into my computer into my like uh, amc portal account and uh, i saw the option clinical examination so i got very happy because i knew that i passed the exam because after passing your amc mcq after that only you will get the option for uh, clinical examination so at that time i knew that i passed the exam and i was very happy i recorded my reaction and uh, i called my girlfriend like uh, i passed the exam uh, it was a very special feeling at that time because all the hard work paid off and uh, but the night before the exam i prepared myself for both the situations like there is going to be only two outcomes pass or fail and i prepared myself for both the situations so do the same because we have only one uh, goal for now i will prepare for the amc clinical examination and uh, i am trying to find a job in australia because you are eligible to get a job in australia and for limited registration with apra so but it is really hard to get a job because uh, i got a feedback email i already got rejected from two places uh, rmo campaign is going on in australia so i already got rejected from uh, two hospitals and uh, i asked them about the feed feedback and uh, one of them were uh, texted me back like about the selection criteria and uh, 500 applicants were there only t- for that 20 jobs it is like india only like after mbbs so it is really competitive so i am going to focus on my clinical examination only and clinical examination is also very expensive 2 lakh 50000 for the clinical examination also i will try to give my 100% because results are not in my hand but the preparation i can prepare better so that's the thing uh, that is my mentality and i am very thankful to all of you guys who supported me through this journey all the youtube community our family and my girlfriend and my family they supported me through this journey fmg ho ya amc mcq wali ho ya clinical wali hogi so i am very thankful to all of them really grateful and i don't know what else to say i hope you 
found this video helpful if so then hit the subscribe button like to follow my journey uh, what will happen in the future i don't i also don't know but i'm just dreaming and uh, preparing that is that see you guys in the next one take care bye bye peace